Hey guys, this is Aaron from Geeky Lemon Development and welcome to our weekly tutorials and this week I'll be showing you how to make an alert appear at the start of an application and when a view loads. Already on my project setup, it's a simple view based application and I've simply named the project Auto Alert Tutorial just for the purpose of this tutorial. So okay then, the first thing we want to do is go to our viewcontroller.m and just after the implementation, hit enter a few times, so we've got a little bit of room. Now there'll be two points to this tutorial. The first one will be, I'll be showing you how to make the alert appear only when the application starts and never again. And the second one will be showing you how to make the alert appear every time the view is loaded. So the first way I'll show you is just to when the application starts and never again. And to do that, I'll zoom in now for the code. What we simply want to do is do dash bracket void bracket awake from nib and do space curly bracket and enter a few times. So you got a little bit of room. And then we start with view our alert view space asterisk. And I'll name the alert simply alert so it's easy to understand. Then equals space bracket bracket. And again, you are alert view. And then unlock bracket. Hit enter. And we need to type in init with title. And this will bring up all the functions now for our alert. And in the title here will be the name of the title on our alert. So just simply do at symbol quotation mark quotation mark and then here I simply type in title so that will appear as our title on our alert and just before message hit enter so it's nicely spaced out let's get that equal there and in the message will obviously appear the message of the alert so we simply type in this is the message you understand it once you run it in the simulator where these are appearing I do exactly the same for the delicate, just press enter. I'll do exactly the same for the rest of them now, so it's out of the way. Okay, in the delegate here, we simply do nil. And then cancel button title, which is the name of the button that will cancel the alert. Just simply type in dismiss. And then other button titles, which we'll only have in one, which will cancel it. So it needs to be nil. So just get rid of the NS string and the comma. And just after the nil, do bracket. And then semicolon and hit enter twice. Now we need to show the alert and release it. So to do it, we do bracket the name of our alert, which we named alert. Very simple. And then show bracket semicolon, hit enter, do bracket alert, and this time we need to release it. We do bracket semicolon, and we can save that. So if you just want to pause it and catch up on any of the code in there. But now I'll zoom out. So if you go straight to build and run, just wait for the project to build, and you'll notice as soon as the application loads up, the alert will be shown. The alert is displayed, and we have our title here. This is the message for our message, and our cancel button, dismiss. Now that only loads up when the application starts. So you can go to a second view and then come back to this view and the alert won't appear again, only when the application starts. So now I'll be showing you how to set the alert to load every time you go onto a certain view. So if you just copy and paste the code in from the released to the UI alert and then just get rid of the awake from nib and then you need to uncomment the view did load which is just here and then just after the super view did load just paste it in and this enables it to every time this view loads you'll turn it to load this alert so if you go to build and run on this one so there you have it it's exactly the same as the previous one it loads up when the application starts, but this time the code is attached to when the view does load. 
So as before, the code is attached to when the nib loads up. This one is when the view loads up. So you can go to a next view and come back into this view and the alert will show again, unlike the previous way I showed you. So that's two ways I've showed you how to make an alert automatically appear in your applications. So I hope this helps in any of your projects or apps at the moment. Make sure you subscribe and I'll see you all next week. Make sure you favour and like the video so you have it for future reference. Also check out the full source code for this tutorial and all our others on our website at geekelement.com. Send us a message or leave us a comment if you want to suggest any tutorials yourself or if you just want to leave us some feedback. And follow and like us on Facebook and Twitter. All the links will be in the description below as well as a full list of all our apps which are currently on the App Store. Make sure you go check them out and most importantly if you haven't make sure you subscribe.